Grade 8 math number 2.4a, add and subtract with scientific notation. As I've told you before in the previous videos, scientific notation is a way to write very large or very small numbers as whole numbers and decimals multiplied by powers of 10. Numbers are used in science and can be extremely large or small, so scientists use scientific notation to write quicker. So 93,000 would be written as 9.3 times 10 to the fourth and point zero zero four could be written as four times ten to the negative third. This number, this multiplier in front of the power of ten, it has to be greater or equal to one and less than a ten, and at least one digit needs to be in front of the decimal point. So when we put numbers into scientific notation, you don't want to do it so that the decimal point is in the very front you want at least one digit in front of that decimal point. Now, that's going to change as we add and subtract them, but then we need to put them back to the correct way when we're finished working with them. So numbers written in scientific notation can be added together and subtracted from each other, and we can do this directly or by rewriting them into standard form. Remember, standard form, it's the regular way we write numbers. So the first way we do it is if we have 2 times 10 to the fourth power, and we're going to add it to 1.5 times 10 to the third power, the first thing we need to do is change them into the same power of 10. We either need to change this so that it's a 3, or we need to change this one so it's a 4. It doesn't matter which one as long as they match. So I'm going to change this one to a 4 by moving this decimal point forward in front of the 1 temporarily so I can do my addition. That becomes a 0.15 times 10 to the fourth power. Now my powers are the same, I can add them up. And I add this section. I ignore these, these are going to stay the same, and I add the 2 to the 0.15 and I get 2.15. I just add the multipliers. See? Now we can also do it in standard form. All I have to do is change this 2 times 10 to the fourth power into a 2 with four zeros. I move it over one, two, three, four hops. I add my zeros as placeholders. And then for this one, the 1 1.5 times 10 to the third, I move the decimal point from in between the one and the five, three hops, one, two, three. I put in my zero placeholders. And now I've got 20,000 plus 1,500. And I can add them together and get 21,500. Now that I've done this addition, I write it back into scientific notation. And I go, from here, one, two, three, four hops. So I've got 2.15 times 10 to the fourth, just like I did here, 2.15 times 10 to the fourth. See? So you can do it directly this way by adding the multipliers as long as the powers of 10 are the same, or you can expand both of them, add them, and then put them back into scientific notation. It doesn't matter which way you do it because they're both going to come up with the correct answer. Okay? So let's do it one more time, and then I'll show you subtraction. Okay, so here's the addition. I've got 1.25 times 10 to the fifth power. I've also got 3.5 times 10 to the third power. I need the powers to match. So I'm going to move this guy up to by pushing this decimal point one space, two spaces. And then I'm going to put a zero here as a placeholder. So now I've got 0 0.035. See? But my powers are the same. So now I can add the multipliers. I can add these multipliers right here. My powers of 10 are going to stay the same. We're just going to add the multipliers. 5 drops down. 5 and 3 is 8. 2 and 0 is 2. And we drop down the 1. I've got 1.285 times 10 to the fifth power. See? So remember, we don't do anything with these. Once we get them to match, it just drops down. Okay? Here's doing it by expanding them into standard form. The 1.25 is going to go 5 hops, see, because it was to the 5th power. So we're going to go from in between the 1 and the 2, we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 hops. Now the decimal point's back here and we have three zeros as placeholders, okay? So that gives us 125,000. And then the 3.5, right here, the original number, 3.5 times 10 to the 3rd, we're going to move it because it's to the third power, we're going to move it three hops. One, two, three. Put two placeholder zeros here, and now I've got 3,500. 
Now I can add the 125,000 and the 3,500. I get 128,500. I return it to scientific notation by going 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 hops, and I get 1.285 times 10 to the 5th power. Just like I did here, 1.285 times 10 to the 5th power. See? So it doesn't matter which way you do it, whichever way you're comfortable, you really should know how to do both ways. The trickiest part is knowing that if you're going to raise this to a higher power, and it's going to go from a 3 to a 5, so we're going to add 2 to it, that we're going to move to the right, okay? When you increase a positive exponent, you're going to move the decimal place to the right, okay? When you're going to go deeper into negatives, you're going to move it to the left, okay? When you have deeper negative exponents, okay? All right, so here's the some subtraction, and we'll talk about that in the next video or two, all right? Dealing with the negative ones. Right now, we're just adding positive exponents. All right, so here's subtraction. So just like addition, we need to change it to the same power of 10. We've got 7.4 times 10 to the fourth power, and we're trying to take away 2 times 10 to the third power. So I'm going to change this to the fourth power by moving the decimal from behind the 2 to in front of the 2. So now I've got 7.4 times 10 to the fourth power, and I'm taking away 0.2 times 10 to the fourth power. See? By moving this decimal point in front of the 2, I can raise that to a 4. Now my powers are the same. I can subtract these multipliers. See? 7.4 minus 0.2 is 7.2 times 10 to the fourth power. The powers stay the same, okay? And just like with addition, we can do it by, by expanding it to the standard form. We've got 7.4 times 10 to the fourth power. So we're going to move that decimal point from in between the 7 and the 4, 4 hops, because that's what the exponent tells us to. 1, 2, 3, 4. Put in some zero placeholders, and we've got 74,000. Now we've got 2 times 10 to the third power. So we take our 2, the decimal points behind it, and we move 1, 2, 3 hops. We've got 2,000. See? So we didn't have to move it or change any powers or anything because we're just writing it in standard form. So we can take them as they were originally given to us. So now we've got 74,000 take away 2,000. 74,000 take away 2,000. 4 minus 2 is 2. We drop the 7. We've got 72,000. See? We return it to scientific notation, and we go from back here where the decimal point is to 1, 2, 3, 4 hops. So the decimal point's in between the 7 and the 2. And because we went 4 hops, we've got 7.2 times 10 to the 4th power. See? Was that real bad? I don't That wasn't that bad, was it? Okay. So, if you're really confused about this scientific notation, my advice is to go back to unit 2.3. I did a lot of videos on scientific notation there, okay? And it's in the same playlist as this video, and hopefully that'll help you, okay? But I think you might be all right, all right? We're going to talk about multiplication and division with scientific notation in the next video. See you there. Bye.